Right, hello again everybody, welcome back to Running Red, that hardcore questing mod pack from Gideon Seymour. Now, I have managed to come back from my dream this time, not a nightmare, and I've got plenty of wispy cotton with me, so a quick look, I've got 20. So that should now complete its quest, let's have a look. I don't think two quests with unclaimed rewards, let's have a look. This one, well, we might as well do this one first. It's the one with the diamond and the bag. It's always fun opening the bags. And I got three blank slates. Oh, eight blank slates. That's actually good. We need those for that other quest. So let's come in here and get out of here. We needed a whole bunch of slates which I've got on me as it happens here what we needed to do let's go back here and have a look quickly at our book it was demolition lovers one quest with unclaimed rewards and that must be this one unclaimed reward the kids from yesterday where we get the wispy cotton one of one so I can claim that reward, 16 not apples and one full heart. Terrific. Actually, I won't bother with the full heart. I've got plenty of lives. I'll just put it in this chest. And, of course, do the other thing. Get rid of that, uh, those Aubrey bushes. As we have absolutely no need for them at all. The mobs are busy making noises, as usual. So right back to the first book, let's have a look what we got to do. It must be this one. Heavens up. 108 blood ruins. Okay, let's get on with those. So we've actually got to make 88 blood ruins. Because I've already got 20. And the blood ruin recipe, quick look at that one. Is this. Lots of stone, which I don't have with me as it happens, never mind. Let's just go and get some more. Anyway, we've got plenty of these. We can do 64 in a stack and one. We need one week. Okay, let's go and find that. Blood orb is here. Good. And plenty of stone. Let's go and get stone. We have stacks of that. Away here in this chest. So we need 88. So we'll need basically, I think it's we'll take three stacks. That'll be plenty. Oh, maybe not actually. We'll soon find out. It won't be anywhere near enough, will it? Only makes 64. Never mind. Let's put those two together. Alright, we need another two stacks and a bit. Let's put that up there and go and get those. Oh, put the diamond away. There we go, perfect. And that still would be enough, will it? It'll only do 64 blood runes, never mind. So we should now have 8, 64, plus 20 is 84, so we need another 24. Okay, so we need another 3, 4 stacks of stone. Got plenty of that. Just plenty of it, as it happens now. Let's do this. 32, in fact, would have been more sensible, wouldn't it? So we need, I said we need 24, okay. That will do, and here we have 56. So that's that. That's 108, isn't it? Fantastic. Uh, 
Oh, let's check the quest book. Yes. Come to the unknown. Angels come to the unknown. Ah, oh, okay. We have to make four beacons. Four glowstone. I'm not sure we need that. And four bloodstone bricks. Oh, terrific. So, we've got to go and make four beacons. We need four nether stars. We've got one. So that means I've got to go and do um, some more withers. <clears throat> okay. Actually, not such a problem. We've got plenty of plenty of soul sand, and we've got plenty of nether skulls. I think they're in here. Twenty-seven. So we need another three. So we need nine, don't we? I just wonder if I want to do that on the camera or not. I suppose it's not going to be too bad. So that, let me check what armor I've got with me. I haven't got my void of protected armor. I want to get that one because that gives me 100% protection so I don't really care about the wither very much then. Which one is this one here? Okay, and then in fact while I'm here let's get rid of some of this stuff. I don't want to be completely bogged down with stuff as well. So we've got that 100 blood ruins. Stone will keep the other chest. Blank slates we'll put in here. We call we'll put in here. So what this chest let's have a look. Sentient artificial halves I'll take away with me. I don't want those with me. Bealized, I don't want that with me. I want this sword and we'll get rid of the stone. The wispy cotton we're going to put in the witch's chest and then we should go and get the suns, the soul sand and go and do those withers. Now, soul sand, I've got plenty, 38, so I need 12, don't I? And I want my sigil of magnetism on, good, I've got that. And I should just quick test of what we've got in our network, we should have about 10 million here, just about, just under 10 million. I'll just check that I've got my orb in the, in the um, altar to start with. Probably haven't, otherwise it would have been 10 million. Guess I've got some more scented hives in here. Alright, there we go. Flying around a bit, and I don't really need my dagger of sacrifice either. I'll put those in there. Is there anything else we don't want with us? Well, we've got a Bruce sleeping, which we'll keep with us for the time being. And we don't really want the scoop. We can leave that here. Well, that should do. Let's trundle off to the... Oh, I do tell you what I do need. I'm going to have to have about three stacks of obsidian to repair this. I'll take four stacks of obsidian. To repair the sort of the base as it were. I think it does quite a lot of damage in there. Oops. Flip through it. Okay. Turn off the jetpack. We don't really need the jetpack on it anyway. Let's just change the jetpack now for the for the void armour. And we should get our air signal in place just in case. Who knows? And let's trundle over to there. To here. So look what we got in there. So another nether skull and blah. A few bits and pieces. And in here I should have some netherrack which I've got to dig up. And have another hive. Okay. Let's just dig all this up. What should we use? Pickaxe, I guess is the best. Goes fairly fast with the pickaxe. break this right okay and uh, I suppose I might as well just do it don't want the obsidian there I'll put it down there let's just get my sword prepared it's prepared already good 
Let's get some notch apples just in case. I don't think I'm going to need these. Right. Have I got my builder's wand with me? No, actually, I'm going to go and quickly get my builder's wand. The reason for that is it makes repairing this thing a lot faster. It only takes a few seconds to get. Where is it? Oh, I do have it with me. That was a. Uh, it's sort of hidden. It's a place I always forget where I put it. And my builder's one's in my knapsack. So I'll take it to the knapsack. I've got some more other bits and pieces in here too. Including the, the very fast leggings. Okay. To get it there. Out of the way to the us bang, get the sword ready. Not gone bang yet. There we go. Half dead. Right, one. Right, in fact, I should have turned this on to start. Turn this on to start with. Okay, so now I just need to repair this up a bit. In fact, best thing to do is put a torch down on the floor. Ooh, I've actually got a full inventory. I'll tell you what we'll do. My oh, yellow hearts. Let's just put some of this stuff that I don't need my lava signal or water signal. Uh, probably don't need my stat. Okay. Where did those torches go to? Right, I've got those back again. I don't think I even need those because my hunger's gone down half a bar, so it's almost nothing. And of course, we're in the nether so that the hearts never show up properly. Right, now. So we had a 3x3 three three basically in the area, so let's get that. Uh, the skeleton just been ground uh, builders wand here we go so yeah let's fill in that area in fact I think that will do Let's do another one at the back here. Okay, that'll do for that one. Let's get the next one prepared. Oops. Tell you what we'll do, just put on down here a block of something or other. I have got some slabs. Shall we use move out of the way? No, no, no. Obsidian, yes. Oops. Okay, so I could just get up a little bit more to to put the heads on. There we go. Wait for him to go bang. Get the sword ready. Any second now. Gone fairly quick. Right. This time it doesn't seem to have done even that much damage. Let's just put down some slabs. Uh 
just I think the ceiling got damaged as much as anything else. It's actually quite hard to see, isn't it? Let's put a torch down the bottom there. Yes, that looks fine. Okay, here we go again for the last time, I hope. Out of the way till it explodes, and then we get back here. There he goes, that's the fourth one. I would say relatively painless, wasn't you? <laughs> Not for him, of course. Certain death for the. There we go, let's fill this in again. Let's put a torch down the bottom. I think he actually did a bit more damage this time. But surprisingly, not, not that much. So look, one, two. Stand back here. Put a nine up there, that should be fine. There's a hole there. That's it, isn't it? Is there a hole in there? Oh, yes. Yes, that seems like the, the place. I'll just put one more row back there, and that's done for now. I'm not going to try with that nether hive again, it doesn't seem to work. I'm going to try and press F7, but there's nothing there good. Right. So now we have our. Three never stars. Oh, and he got two yellow hearts this time. So he got three more divination divi sickles. Which of course I don't really need. I might have actually enough space to put these up here. May do. Hmm. I haven't. Let's take these off here. Six yellow hearts. Miniature yellow hearts. Put those up there. Take another star from here. In fact, that would be the place for the last. Okay, so now we can make some more beacons. You know, for just forgot the recipe for beacons already. Oh, fairly straightforward. We have an absolute stack of. Obsidian. Actually, that reminds me of the stack of obsidian I've got from previously. Let's just put it back into here because it's filling up here nicely with um, stone. In fact, I didn't use actually that much obsidian. Glass and nether stars, okay. Of course, I do. I do have enough glass. Okay, four beacons. Right, quickly. Let's check that quest book, which I think is it. Oh, it's here. So we also had to make some glowstone blocks. I'm not sure how I've got oh, plenty of glowstone. Now I haven't got any redstone, that's trouble. Let's make some redstone first of all. There it goes. Take that down here, then we need some. Actually, we need 16. I'll just take the four out.
and we also need some bloodstone we've already got bloodstone blocks I think yes we needed four I'm not sure why so we can now claim the reward two full hearts and another yellow heart canister fantastic but we'll put the yellow heart canister straight into place to give us our 16 health points or whatever it is and we'll put the, the rest of the stuff back in here we don't need that for the time being let's check the book again so that just leaves this quest running red and here we will get 64 golden apples, not apples, 64 hearts and a teleportable teleporter and I've got to submit 50,000 life essence oh, straight enough that's no problem whatsoever where's it gone to? Oh, strange. Don't know why I've got my crescent hammer up here. But I'm sure I've got a might as well eat while I'm at it, aren't they? The usual thing about this mud pack bleeding and eating. I suppose you could call it bleating, huh? Now I have got to... Oh, there it is. And this is a portable tank. I think it's got 32 in it. Let's see. Oops. It just disappeared up into the... into the sorting system. So it'll come down in a few seconds. You'll notice I'm not going to skip, even though I'm really tempted to. Because I haven't got another 40 slates. Think about this, this altar. It's got 40 slates in here. Well, let's just do these boys, because it's going to take ages for that to come down through there. This altar's got 40,000 LP in it, which basically means I can do 40 slates, 20 reinforced slates, I think is it, I think 5,000 for an imbued slate, so you can do 8 imbued slates without using sort of extra blood. And you don't have to watch it if you put exactly the right amounts in, it won't go to the next sort of level. Because whatever's dropping down here, I'm picking up. Because we've got still got that signal of magnetism on. should be in this chest here now yes there we go our resonant portable tank which actually has 64 life essence in it so what I really should do is to remove the rest now that's going to be awkward how are we going to do that if I make three portable tanks that would give me 24, I need to 50. I'll right, jump up those away, let's do that. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, let's just submit the whole of it. To this quest, select the task of course, because I would forget to do that otherwise. Right click it on here. Let's put this 64. It should simply stop. We could we could stop it as soon as it gets to the 
being done as it were. Now let's just make an output chest. Uh, let's, ooh, that was fast, wasn't it? Took it off. So we've now done it. Let's come back to our book, make sure we've got a bit of spare capacity, which we have. Claim reward. Whoa, isn't that a lot? In fact, one of the hidden quests is to die a hundred times. Now, I think you can actually find out how many times you've died by going back to the very beginning of this book. So again, because that's it now completed. Oh, we've got here. So this is a new one, Cemetery Drive. Ah, so we've got to reach a new location. It doesn't tell you very much about this new location, it just says new. But we did get this portable trans. Let's have a look. We got this portable teleporter. So I reckon this is the destination of where we go to. But before I go there, I'm going to just call it a day and just go one more time back to the dream world because I'll leave the last bit for the suspension of the last episode. I think the next one's going to be the last episode. Or maybe not. There are a few other things we can do, of course. Let's get this going here. Where did I put that dream potions? Here we go. Brew sleeping, I should say. Let's just drink this one. And hopefully, oh, it looks okay. It looks like you see what I've done here is a little a whole load of area here. I explored lots and lots of mines, built built lots of things, found some diamonds. If you look at what I've got on me, you'll see I've got these Osmian uh, armor and Osmian weapons. They are great. If I just get out of here, well, you see, you can even find rocky hives in here too. It's quite a large amount, it's a large area, this. Because now I'm underwater, so I'm not going to be going the right direction. But what I would like to do. is quickly show you what it did on the surface because I reckon I'm in a dream not a nightmare because I can't hear anything except for fuels see another rocky hive and in fact with this arm we've got on I must be getting near to a mob I can hear him See, there's lots of it, lots of lots of lead ore, lots of coal, lots of tin ore, lots of copper ore, lots of iron ore, lots of gravel, lots of serratus quartz ore, and here we go. Now this is a bad place, this must have been my first place when I realised it couldn't go up here because of the water. And it's osmian ore, that's one of the good things too. Is it another chest? And inside this chest, I've got another chest and some stencils. I don't know what they use the open box stencils for. And some coal. I must have taken that at one time. But of course, you can simply break that with a pickaxe. Like that. You can pick up everything in there. No, I won't jump down there, it's too far. Where are those mobs? Of course it could be anywhere. Oops, there we go. One. Took a lot of dying. Oh, you just spawned from there. Just spawning a place there. Don't see one. Oh, there's another one. Here we go. 
It'll be hard to kill as well. These ones with armor and have to take quite a bit of killing. Right. Ah, uh, here we are. This is my way out, I think. And here I've got a little chest. I can put some of this stuff in here. I just picked up, don't need those. Actually, I've got a mine cart with a chest in it. Let's put it down here. And have a look what's in the chest. Nothing. Okay. I'll bang it again. In fact, I don't need the, these with me either, do I? Just is always useful to have with you. And in here I've got, just got some coal. Let's go up here. I think this is the one I wanted. This is the original one I built, I think. Oh no, this is not. This is the base I built. You see a little, a little tiny weenie house. I planted some food, some pumpkins, some bushes. Some melons and some potatoes, which is good of course. I should give you quite a reasonable amount of food, but baked potatoes anyway, put plant all of them down. Come back in here. Now you'll see I've got, a, I actually built a, a blood altar because I found one. I put the potato in here, it'll drop through to the here and end up in this chest here as a cooked baked potato. Same principle as before, hoppers, top and bottom, gone already. So we get a baked potato in here. And that's actually quite a good food supply. You'll see it uh, gives you a saturation of almost four, I think. And it also plants some wispy cotton down here. Oops, where has it gone to? Well, at least. Yes, there we are. I don't know whether this will multiply. I planted four, but there's still four here. So I don't know what the best conditions for that are, but it would be quite handy. Maybe I plant some more by the door here. So put some torches around here, but it doesn't go nights, it doesn't help you very much. Oh, I haven't got those to be with me, have I? It must have been in my knapsack. Okay, so to get back from here, I need an icy needle here. What to do with the icy needle? Fortunately, I have some, and just in case I didn't have any, I put some in this chest, I think. I also found a dungeon trap with some all sorts of bits and pieces in here. So you've got some more pickaxes. Yes, I put 15 icy needles in here, just in case. Some more wispy cotton. Let's just plant a few of these wispy cottons out here. Let's plant another four. We don't obviously don't need it anymore for this quest back anyway. So if we just come back here and plant those, say. come outside wouldn't it okay right so all I do now is right click this one and I wake up back as I was by the bed so that's it and until next time bye for now